One email that earned a spot on the best list perfectly demonstrates how to write an intriguing subject line. The sender used the subject line how do you pay the name of their employee. Asking about a remote hire who is based in a country different from the email recipient's company. The seemingly odd question then sets up a discussion about the potential pain points associated with international workers with compliance issues. No matter how many innovative digital marketing tactics emerge, email marketing remains one of the best ways to reach and engage your target audience. Email marketing's power lies in its ability to provide businesses of all sizes an attractive return on investment. In fact, according to an e-marketer study, the median email marketing ROI is 122%. That's four times higher than any other digital marketing channel. With five unique email marketing strategies. And let you in behind the scenes to share case studies on how these different email marketing templates can achieve a 94% open rate and 30% click-through rate. Facts. More than 290 billion emails are sent daily. This figure is expected to reach 347 billion daily emails by the end of 2023. Email marketing strategies have changed over the years. What worked five years ago, now no longer works. But it's still a key player to any marketing strategy. I will go over the five main email templates that are still working right now to let you achieve the best ROI. Number one, personalized email doubles reply rate. Along with the subject line, the opening line is a critical component of emails that sales reps often get wrong. For example, using an opening line such as my name is Brad sounds like it's from a generic template, which can negatively affect your reply rate. The best sales emails resonate because they speak directly to the reader. The marketing analytics software company Directive Consulting learned that lesson when they were trying to boost the reply rate for their guest blogger outreach. Out of 20 to 50 emails per week, the team was only receiving two to four positive replies. Here is the company's initial, poor performing email script. Directive initial email script. The email example above features a bland, impersonal introductory line. It then segues to a long, boring explanation of who the sender is and what their company does. So Directive tried a more creative variation of the same message. In the newer version, an engaging header with the sender's picture and blurb replaces the original introduction. Thanks to the new email template, Directive's reply rate increased from 8% to 16%. It is most likely due to a lack of data, easy-to-use personalization tools, and the time-consuming nature of testing personalized email content. However, with the right tools and data, it can be very easy to implement. A few examples of using personalization could include Offering discounts in bulk emails that only certain subscribers can see Personalizing the content of a birthday email based on the year that the subscriber was born. Showing products based on the subscriber's brand and size preference. Aggregating data from mobile apps for end of week, month, year summary emails. Before going on, if you feel that I have given you some value, please help me by smashing the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. So you will be updated when I upload new videos like this. Number 2. Peak a reader's interest with an intriguing question. The best sales email subject lines aren't just short but also compelling. But how do you really pique someone's interest with just a few words? Sometimes a quick, cryptic question can do the trick. The B2B lead generation service science reviews thousands of emails for their clients, curating lists of the best, and worst, sales email examples they find. One email that earned a spot on the best list perfectly demonstrates how to write an intriguing subject line. The sender used the subject line how do you pay the name of their employee. Asking about a remote hire who is based in a country different from the email recipient's company. The seemingly odd question then sets up a discussion about the potential pain points associated with international workers with compliance issues, money transfers, etc. Finally, the email's author reveals that their company can provide a solution to these pain points. Remember some keynotes on writing emails. Keep your headline short. The average office worker receives hundreds of emails a day. The sales email subject line is your opportunity to stand out and prove that your email is worth opening. Shane Snow, an author and co-founder of Contently, and John Yushui, Instagram's product marketing manager, performed an experiment to determine what type of subject line and sales email would get a response from busy executives. First, they gathered email addresses of 1,000 of the busiest business people in America, including 500 VP and C-suite executives from the Fortune 500, and 500 C-level execs from the Incorporated 500. 
Then, they wrote 10 versions of a simple email asking for the executive's opinions on cold emails. Here you can see one of the most successful versions. Subject line, quick question. One of the more successful versions from the study. The two subject lines they tested were quick question, 51% open rate, and 15 second question for research on annoying emails, 48% open rate. Although the open rate was somewhat similar for both emails, the quick question subject line had double the response rate, accounting for 66.7% of all replies. Number 3. Tell stories. Stories are a great way to sell in emails. I don't care what the product or service is. If you can work in a story, your chances of making the sale go up dramatically. For one thing, stories are naturally entertaining. Think back a few thousand years. Stories were the only real entertainment people had. They didn't have TV or radio or the internet, just stories, which are a great form of entertainment. It's very easy to process information from stories too. We're hardwired to learn from and communicate through them, and, in many cases, it's the most persuasive way to get someone to do what you want. Whether it's persuading someone to buy your product or persuading a child to be careful of talking to strangers. Stories inspire and motivate people to take action. Many times sales are made just from the story. Just look at the hit 80s movie Top Gun. That movie sold thousands of young whippersnappers on joining the Navy, even though it never once pitches anyone on it. Another example is, the 2003 film, The Italian Job is a remake of the 1969 heist movie of the same name. The original stars Michael Caine, Benny Hill and several Mini Coopers, and when the film was remade with Mark Wahlberg, the filmmakers used the current model of the iconic car. BMW happily obliged them and provided the production with more than 30 cars. The film was only moderately successful, but the product placement worked like a charm. Business Week reported that since the film's 2003 release, the car experienced a 22% increase in sales over the previous year. As the old adage says, the more you tell the more you sell. And this is especially true if you're telling stories. Number 4. Cold Email Formula. People are busy. Many don't have time or the attention span to read lengthy emails that beat around the bush. If your message is too long-winded, readers may bail before they even reach your CTA. According to Lead Fuse's founder, Justin McGill, some of the best sales emails employ the QVC formula for getting straight to the point. Ask a question, present your value proposition, and then include a clear call to action, such as interested in a demo. Take a look at one of Lead Fuse's sales email examples to see how the three-step process plays out. Notice how the email attracts the reader's attention without drowning them in text. The entire message can be read in less than 30 seconds. Lead. Fuse's cold email approach has paid off, in just one year, the company used cold email to grow company revenue to $30,000 per month. Sometime, do not overthink and simplicity sells. Number 5. Pop culture references. Finally, one of my favorite ways to be infotaining is piggybacking off of pop culture. I'm a big fan of doing this not only from a personal point of view but because as the late, great, copywriter Eugene Schwartz said, that's your market. Those are the words, the feelings, and the hot buttons that motivate them. What I like to do is work pop culture analogies, references, jokes and even quotes into my emails. If nothing else, it keeps your emails fun, loose and interesting, all of which combine to make emails more readable and buyer-friendly. So always be asking, what's popular? What are the most watched TV shows? What movies are people raving about? What magazines, radio shows, books or websites are hot with your market? Then dip into those wells over and over. Reference them in your emails. Turn them into analogies, lessons or stories. It'll be fun for your market to read and buy from, as well as fun for you to write. One example as you can see will be like. Star Wars Day, May 4th be with I. May 4th has officially become Star Wars Day. Now annually celebrated, it's a day where Star Wars fans across the world unite and announce their love for the saga. It's also a prime example of pop culture marketing in action. Not always featuring as you might expect, one of the earliest known uses of the phrase May the 4th be with you was in 1979, allegedly printed in a newspaper when Margaret Thatcher became Prime Minister on May 4th. Decades later, this particular pop culture phenomenon has well and truly caught on, with the use of social media facilitating its integration into modern society. Yesterday saw brands and fans alike take to social media to wish their fellow Star Wars lovers a happy May 4th on a scale as big as the saga itself. 
It boils down to what kind of templates your audience like. What you can do is by doing split test on them and see which gives you a better open rate and ROI. These are the 5 most effective templates used by corporations and do let me know in the comments below what you prefer. If you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for future updates. Thank you.